What's up guys, I'm about to walk you through how to uh, make a splitter and uh, install it on my 89 Nissan 240SX. A few tools you might need would be a, a jigsaw to help cut it out. Even a sawzall will do it. And then you'll need a file to uh, clean it up afterwards so it's nice and smooth. As you can see here, I actually I already cut it all out. I made it out of cardboard at first. I traced the cardboard with uh, aluminum composite material is what it's called and uh, cut it out. I, I ba actually cut it out twice to give it uh, a little bit more sturdiness to it. Um, at this point we're going to glue these together and then we will put a trim on it and then it'll be ready to install in the car after that. At this point we're going to scuff up uh, the splitters, the ACM, and uh, scuff it up so that the glue sticks better and they adhere better together so that uh, we won't have to worry about them coming apart anytime soon down the road I guess. Alright guys, now that we've sanded this down, prepped it for uh, the glue, now we're going to just wipe it off, put the glue down, stick them together with uh, some lamps to keep pressure on them. And we'll let that sit for a bit, let it dry. Basically I cut two of these out though and uh, glued them together so now it's a quarter inch of ACM and it's, it's definitely a little bit stronger than what it was. Basically this is just for looks, it's not for the track or anything. But uh, after that dries we're going to put this uh, quarter inch uh, rubber trim on the edge and then after that we will be ready to install it on the car. So now we're going to peel uh, this edge to glue this uh, rubber trim. Uh, basically this is going to protect the rest of our splitter from getting glue on it if we do get a little bit messy. Let that dry for a bit, uh, get us a good solid base, then we will work it around the splitter. So now we will uh, slowly work this rubber trim around the edge, uh, gluing it a little bit at a time.
All right, guys. So now that we've got uh, our dueling uh, eighth-inch ACM glued together, uh, the rubber trim glued on it. Now we need to uh, measure up on the bumper where it needs to go. So uh, the easiest way to do this is to pull the bumper off these clamps to uh, place it where you want it, and then drill holes from there. Once you take the bumper off, you're going to want to lay the splitter out across the ground and. Uh, lay the bumper on top of it and then you're going to mark where you want to drill holes at and then mount it there. I do actually have uh, canards that are in, in the works as well. They're going to work from here up to here, but uh, I'll post a video on those whenever I get those in as well. I'm actually having those uh, routed out, so they'll be already pre-cut. I've designed all the templates and stuff, some design software that I know how to use. So basically, whenever it's there, you know, marker. Now that we've got the bumper on the ground, we're going to trace out a line all the way around it. This will help us with where we need to drill our holes at. It's not we flipped it, put it back where it's supposed to be. See how you can see this orange line right here? You can tell where that body is so you can know where to drill your holes at. From here we're just going to put a few holes in it. And then now we will uh, start drilling some holes. Try and go slow, don't push too hard. Uh, you don't want to splinter the fiberglass. The slower you go, the better. I actually built my diffuser as well. I'll uh, try and pull it apart and put titanium or stainless bolts in it uh, here sometime and we will uh, get a video maybe putting it back together and the install on it. I've got skirts uh, in the works as well. But like I said, the canards will be here hopefully in the next week or so. We'll build another video on those, installing those. Thread the nut and bolt in.
once, once you get them all started, you can uh, actually tighten them down. After that, we're ready. We've got the bolts all tight now, and uh, we're about to install it on the car. Gosh, that's blurry. Looks good, but we've almost forgot one thing. How can you have a splitter without rods? So basically, you would like these to go to your frame, usually, but these are not long enough. They're about as long as I could order. They're still not long enough to go to a frame, so we're just going to go to the top of this bumper right here. Again, this is basically for looks. Uh, it's not a chassis mount or anything. We're just wanting to look fast. So at one, at some point, I might get some cable to go to the frame. up here but for now we'll just rock it back to the bumper okay guys so I forgot to video this but basically I got these things to max width minus a little bit uh, drilled my holes down here mounted them and then now I've kind of reached them up to here and I'm gonna drill in the same spot on both sides up here We didn't max these out on length whenever I installed them because we wanted to uh, make sure we had some more play so that whenever we got these installed we could still tighten them up. You can uh, adjust the pitch of the lip as well with these if you need to.